on go. So the first thing we're going to want to do is extract from in some information from the problem. So the first thing is our significance level, which might tell us is 5%. So our alpha is 0 0.05. And next, the number of volunteers in the sample is 19. So we're going to use 19 as n. Now we're going to have to state the parameter. This is a tricky part because we have to figure out which significance test we're doing. In AP stats, we've learned about five different tests. Mu, P, P1 minus P2, Mu1 minus Mu2, and mean difference. So since we're given means, we know that it's not going to be P or P1 minus P2. And since we're given a difference in means or a mean difference from two different groups or two different um, means, we know that it's not a single mean and that it's either going to be mu1 minus mu2 or mu diff. And then finally, since the, the, the experiment is designed as a match pairs experiment, and that the same group of people, one sample of people, aka the 19 volunteers in the study, and un each underwent both the control and the treatment in the study, then we know that it's going to be a mean difference instead of the sample mean minus the other sample mean. So, for the parameter, we can say mu difference is the true mean difference in irritability score, and then we have to specify that it's placebo minus omega 3 so that they know which order they're being subtracted. Among all patients with the medical condition similar to the volunteers in this study, so we need the context and we also need to recognize that we can't um, generalize to all people because they were volunteers. And then we have to state our hypotheses. So the null hypothesis is that the placebo and had no difference in irritability score compared to the omega-3. So the placebo minus omega-3 would be zero. So mu diff equals zero. Our alternative hypothesis is that the placebo had a great, resulted in a greater irritability score than the omega-3 supplement, so the mean difference would be greater than zero. And so we would get a point for that and a point for stating the parameter. Okay. The next thing we do is we plan. So the first thing we do is we have to name the test. So what we named it was the one sample T test for mu difference. And it's a T because the T is the mean. And it's one sample because there was one sample, one group of people that went through both treatments. Next thing we need to do is find the three conditions that make it so we can do a significance test. So the first one is random, and the test gave us that was a randomly assigned treatment. So you can assume it's random. Okay, the next thing we do is an independence test, which shows that N is less than 10% of the population. Um, for us, our N was 19, and 19 is less than 10% of all patients with medical conditions, similar to the volunteers in this study. The next thing we need to do is prove that it's normal. Um, usually we use a CLT for this, which is n minus 1 is greater than or equal to 30, but 19 minus 1 is less than 30, so that doesn't work. But they gave us a box plot, which shows no apparent skew or outliers and appears to be normal, which proves that it's normal. Now we're going to actually do calculate the test statistic and the p-value for our significance test. This is where things get interesting. So. To calculate our test statistic, we're going to use the standardized formula of statistic minus parameter divided by standard error. But first, we're going to have to find the standard error. The standard error is the standard deviation given to us in the problem divided by the square root of n, which in this case is 2.485 divided by the square root of 19, which is approximately 0 0.57. Once we have that, we can plug in the rest of our, um, our variables. The statistic is um, the x-bar difference, which is 1.789 given to us in the problem. And the parameter, assuming H, the null hypothesis is true, is zero. And that test statistic is 3.139, and you'll get a point for that. Now we're going to calculate our p-value using that test statistic. On our calculator, we're going to use a t-test. Um, with 0 as mu naught, 1.789 as x bar, 2.485 as uh, standard deviation, 19 as n, and we're going to state that mu is greater than mu naught. So once we plug this all in, as you can see on our graph, 
we've shaded in the probability that the test statistic is greater than or equal to 3.139 on the T distribution with 18 degrees freedom. And our p-value ends up being 0 0.0028, which is less than our alpha, our significance level of 0 0.05. So we'll get a point for the p-value as well. Conclusion. Assuming h naught is true, there's a 0 0.0028 probability of obtaining a sample mean difference of 1.789 or greater purely by chance. And you would get a point. Okay, and we reject H naught because we have convincing statistical evidence that the omega-3 supplement will decrease the mean irritability score of the patients with the medical conditions similar to the volunteers in the study. You would also have a point for that.